Hi, this is Pat Johnson, President of CAD Enhancement. And I'd like to take this time to thank you for taking a few moments on viewing this video about the BIM Manager Utility. The BIM Manager Utility is part of the FAR Manager, which is part of the FAR process. Um, again, to be able to get at the BIM Manager Utility, you need to be in a project file and then go to the Add In button, External Tools, BIM Manager. Um, in the month of September, we are in the beta testing version of the uh, BIM Manager and FAR Manager utility. Um, this is just a splash screen, hit OK, and the BIM Manager utility screen will come up. We're going to talk about a couple of administrative features along with some batch routine, um, ut routines about uh, handling parameters, both add, edit, delete, and, and such. Um, the administrative uh, tools here, Catalog Families, is a indexing feature that indexes all the families with data inside of the families, allowing for quick searching of those um, information, the data inside of the families. The information that is indexed is the categories, subcategories, types, parameters, and parameter values. Um, there is a video out there on the search capability. Feel free to uh, view that on YouTube. And um, the configure FAR is um, it's actually a tool that allows the BIM manager to manage folder locations. The database is actually the indexing file that uh, is created for the families. And we kind of recommend that that be placed on the server for um, access by all users. The startup file here is actually the file that will store this data along with the location of the families. Now here you, is one family uh, folder location. You can have multiple um, family uh, locations, um, as many as the BIM manager so desires. Um, to add um, folder locations or delete the locations or edit the locations, you just right click in this area and that will allow the um, again here you give it a name what, what's the name it could be project name you could have families just for projects and then here you just go to this folder location that you want to add um, it's a it's a management tool for the BIM manager to, to really allow the FAR manager users where the access to the families and what families they want them to access and also save um, so apart from the administration tools, the, one of the big features of the BIM Manager utility is the batch processing. Um, yeah, get down and, and you just you really you multi-select what you want to process here. Um, and you can jump around from doors to windows, the furniture, all that kind of stuff. Um, then you just kind of right click here and say you want to add parameter add parameter if you want to add a parameter to all the selected items you give a unique name parameter or if that name is there it will just edit that value we've added the value capability here um, to allow you to add that value in a batch routine so you don't have to add the parameter and then go back and add the value if you want to edit a parameter you just put the parameter name in question here and the new value and again, run the routine. Um, what's kind of nice is if the parameter is there, you edit it. If it's not, you add it. It's uh, And again, you do it in a batch mode. The other features here, you can delete types, add types, um, rename types, um, all in a batch mode. Um, so if you get a bunch of families that you need to add a certain parameter to or delete a certain parameter, on the delete parameter, of course, we would not delete built-in parameters. It will notify you of that. If you're deleting built-in parameters, you're going to corrupt your family. Um, so we put that as a catch there. Um, these three items here is really not for batch routines. You can select one, delete a family. You can rename a family or take a family and save it as another family name. Um, and then up here, the pull downs, again, you just see here the delete family rename. This is kind of file 
manipulation. Um, edit, these are all can be run in a batch mode. Um, takes a little bit of playing around um, to really learn how to use it, but it's very simple. Um, search, you can search the local families here. And again, we have a video on this out there right now that shows this in uh, great detail. Um, view, you can view the parameters and types of the selected item. Um, what's nice about here is we've really take, taken the dialogue that we've got in showing the parameters, which is very similar to uh, what's inside Revit. The only difference is we um, alphabetize everything, both in the grouping order and within the grouping, the parameters are alphabetized. So when you get into a large family with many parameters, it makes it very easy to find what you're after and manip manipulate those parameters. Um, again, um, it doesn't look like much for a BIM manager utility, but from the start to be able to batch process, um, administer the folders, and create that indexing folder, we feel it's a very powerful tool um, with much more to come. And again, I would like to thank you for taking this time. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact us at www.cadenhancement.com and um, click on contacts. All right. Thank you. And you have a very nice day. Thank you. Goodbye.